At eight o'clock every night in Yip, they pay homage to the dead. At the Menin Gate, there are 54,000 names of British and Allied soldiers who died near here but have no known grave. Almost a hundred years later, hundreds still come to remember them. Well, I think it's important to keep the memory alive of all the men who sacrificed their lives for all of us. Today, the ancient town is smart and prosperous, but back then, it was reduced to rubble. Nearby, the two opposing armies dug in and the daily carnage of trench warfare began. There were five separate battles. It was here that gas was first used and where men drowned in mud. It's in the farmland outside Yeep that you first become aware of the sheer scale of the sacrifice of those who fought in what was the world's first truly industrial war. This is a British and Allied cemetery and in it there are 12,000 individual graves. But on the wall back there, there are 35,000 names of soldiers whose bodies were simply never found. And don't forget, all this represents just one small sector in a much bigger battlefield. In four years of fighting, 550,000 soldiers died near Yip. This is the main German cemetery at Langemark, the final resting place for more than 44,000. Today, people come from all over the world to remember. Brian and Gail Fraser are from Australia. They have both German and British ancestry. So, like many, they remember the dead from both sides. It was unbelievable that there are so many cemeteries here. Um, I did not expect this many. It's just futility. It's just absolute futility of what happened. All these young lives. We've got children who are, sorry, older than some of these. And it's just awful. Today, Yip styles itself as a city of peace. It's twinned with Hiroshima in Japan. Inside the rebuilt medieval cloth hall, there is a museum to the war that was meant to end all wars. But as you leave, a sobering list of all the wars fought since and those being fought today. Simon McGregor Wood, Al Jazeera, Ypres in Belgium.